Hello and welcome everyone to this particular lecture of Company Law. Today, we are going to go through the last topic of this particular chapter that is share capital and debentures. We are at the last topic which is section 71 which speaks about debentures. Which speaks about debentures. We are through with share capital. Only topic that is left is debentures. So this will conclude our chapter today in this particular lecture itself. Let's go to section 71 without wasting any time. The first of all, definition of debenture is given under section 2 subsection 30. What does the definition say? Definition simply says that debenture includes debenture stock, bonds and any other instrument of a company. Debenture stock, bonds and any other instrument of a company which evidences a debt, evidencing a debt. This is the most important point. Any instrument, any instrument issued by the company which evidences a debt by the company whether constituting a charge on the assets of the company or not. So, any instrument that is issued by the company which creates a debt on the company to repay is known as debentures. Okay, this is the definition of debentures under section 2 subsection 30. Now, let's get into the provisions which are given under section 71. First of all, a company may issue, company may issue debentures with an option to convert that is convertible debentures. We are speaking about convertible debentures. See, the company may issue different type of debentures. It may be convertible debenture, non-convertible debenture, redeemable debenture, etc., etc. And so the first provision says that company may issue debentures with an option to convert such debentures into shares. That means these are convertible debentures. But the company has to, at the time of redemption, if they want to convert it into equity shares, then a special resolution needs to be passed for such an issue of convertible. So, in case a company wants to issue convertible debentures, then the company will have to pass a special resolution in the general meeting. Okay. So, this is the first point. Second point is to be noted very, very clearly that no company shall issue any debentures carrying any kind of voting rights. So, debentures are normally the characteristic of debenture is there is no voting rights in a debenture. So, this point is also clear to you. Company may issue secure debentures subject to terms and conditions which are prescribed in the which are prescribed in the company's share capital and debenture rules 2014. This point you have to remember but the rules you do not have to go through because that is not in the scope of your examination. Okay. So, the company may issue secure debentures subject to the terms and conditions which are prescribed in the rules provided for the same. Okay. Secure debentures means debentures which are secured by the assets of the company. Okay. Company may also issue unsecured debentures also which are not backed up by assets of the company. Okay. Now, the next point is company shall create a DRR account. DRR account means debenture redemption reserve account. In the exam, you should write the full form of the same debenture redemption reserve account which has to be created by the company out of profits available for payment of dividend and amount created shall not be utilized except for redemption of debentures. So, whatever amount you have created in the DRR account as per the rules, the amount which is there in the DRR account shall be utilized only and only for the redemption of debentures and no other purpose whatsoever. So, this was point number four. Point number five says, no company shall issue prospectus, no company shall issue prospectus or make an offer to its members if the members are exceeding 500 members for subscription of debentures unless a debenture trustee is appointed by the company. What does this mean? See, whenever you come up with an issue of shares or securities or debentures, the company has to come up with an prospectus, issue a prospectus or issue a offer to its members. If it is a public issue, then prospectus is there. If it is a member issue to its members, then an offer is required, letter of offer is required. Now, in case the members of the company, in case the members of the company, members of the company is more than 500 members, is more than 500 members, then the company can come up with a debenture issue by issuing prospectus or an letter of offer only and only, mark my words, only and only after appointing a debenture trustee, debenture trustee. Now, who is a debenture trustee? Debenture trustee is basically a person 
who is appointed on behalf of the debentures for the protection of interest of debenture holders okay so the company say for example company a comes up with a debenture issue and issues debentures to its debenture holders now all the debenture holders will not be able to directly communicate with the company and hence the company will appoint a debenture trustee who will be on who will be overlooking the activities of the company if if there is any charge then the assets will be protected by such a debenture trustee and the interest of the debenture holder will be protected by the debenture trustee hence this debenture trustee will work on behalf of the debenture holders and he has to be an independent person all together okay so in case the company has more than 500 members then it is mandatory that the company will appoint a debenture trustee this is a very very important point from case study point of view remember more than 500 members you have to appoint a debenture trustee okay so i hope this point is also clear to you what is a debenture trustee for he is for protection of interest of debenture holders and for redressing their grievance so if any debenture holder has any grievance like he has not received the interest for a particular period he may he may put this particular query or complaint to the debenture trustee debenture trustee will then coordinate with the company and redress the grievance of the debenture holder this is the major function of a debenture trustee okay this point is clear in the following points you will see more functions of debenture trustee getting cleared in the next points any clause in the trust deed so whenever a company whenever a company appoints a debenture trustee appoints a debenture trustee then the company also creates a debenture trust deed this is an agreement for appointment of debenture trustee okay so any clause in in the trust deed exempting the trustees from its liability of breach of trust see it is an debenture trust deed is basically a deed of trust and in case the trustee breaches breaches means he does not comply with or he uh, does not perform as per what is given in the trust deed then it is known as breach of trust and if there is an clause in the trust deed clause in the trust deed which exempts the trustee from such liability then such a clause shall be void such a clause shall be void so the exemption of any liability of trust trustee in case of breach of trust on the trust deed such clause will be considered as void by companies act okay this point is clear provided that there is a condition for the same provided that liability shall be ex subject to exemptions if it may be agreed upon by majority of holding not less than not less than how much 3/4 in value now majority of debenture holders holding not less than 3/4 of value may exempt some liabilities of the debenture trustee okay for that particular purpose what is the majority which is required majority majority of debenture holders that means more than 50% majority means for more than 50% in numbers and 3/4 debenture holders shall hold at least 3/4 of the value of debentures in the company next point whether debenture trustee comes to a conclusion what conclusion that the assets of the company are insufficient that the assets of the company are insufficient or likely to become ins insufficient he foresees he projects that in the next year the assets of the company will be insufficient to discharge the principal amount when due principal amount of what debentures when it is due then he may himself file a petition with the tribunal next is the tribunal on receipt of such a petition from the debenture trustee on receipt of such a such a petition from the debenture trustee may hear both the parties and impose restrictions on incurring any further liabilities on the company so company cannot incur any further liabilities till the company proves that they are they have sufficient funds to meet the principal amount of the debentures uh, which have been issued by the company okay so this point is also important and you should be knowing it so this is one of the duties of the debenture trustee to in the interest of the debenture holders to keep an eye on 
whether the assets of the company are sufficient or insufficient. If it is insufficient, they may file an petition with the tribunal, and tribunal on hearing the uh, both the parties may pass an order imposing restrictions on incurring any further liabilities. The next point is if the company fails to redeem or pay interest, then the tribunal may, on application of the debenture holders or debenture trustees, so if the company fails to or defaults in redemption of debentures to the debenture holders or paying its interest thereon then tribunal may on the application of both debenture holders or even the debenture trustee direct my order the company to redeem the debentures forthwith forthwith means immediately immediately if the company defaults in compliance of the order every officer in default every officer in default will be will be given imprisonment of up to 3 years liable for imprisonment up to 3 years or fine of minimum 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs or both or both so i hope this part is clear to all of you so i hope this particular section is also clear to all of you that's it from me for section 71 and the chapter of share capital and debentures is concluded from this particular lecture in the next lecture i will be starting with so, uh, section 123 to section 127 which is about divisible profits and distribution of the same which we also call it as dividend thanks a lot for watching this particular video if you have understood the content of this video please do press the like button and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel and pass this particular video to any of your friends and groups if possible thanks a lot stay safe stay healthy